do do I'm gonna just put y'all right here. Oh, they put that. There we go. It's gonna fall down. It fits into these two grooves. Oh, there we go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going, well, I guess I should say tonight, we are going to be doing an oil change on the Moto 2. But first, yeah, you see it's time. You got a little negative 99. Oh, almost 100 miles past. See, we got a little wrench again. Well, terrible thing. And do 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 I'm gonna just put you all right here. First things first. I'm gonna relax, relax. Make sure we got all of our tools. Um, so you're gonna need five millimeter uh, hex head or whatever the hell. T Allen key, there you go. Or a T handle. Um, this is a an eight millimeter. This is for the drain pan, the drain plug. I think we will need this. I'm not sure. A Phillips head screwdriver. There are some smaller fairing bolts in here. I'm not sure if we'll need to remove these or not. We will find out. Oil wrench or pliers. And then that's it for tools. Okay. And I got my dealer tool scanner, the UK dealer tool, oil filter, oil, laptop setup to clear that pesky little wrench you know what I mean so we're gonna start by getting these fairings off of here Ooh, this is the scariest part for sure do, 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 do. This is not a factory bolt. This is one of the the factory bolt uh, came out while I was riding at some point, and I didn't notice until it was gone. So I just put a bolt in there that would fit. I did the same thing on the other side because I'm kind of OCD about this sheet. There's two down here. Whoop, that's the wrong size. I'm a five mil millimeter. I'm a five millimeter. <laughs> oh. What a terrifying sound. Okay, so they are screwed in from the other side, I guess. Oh. These things dirty. Sheesh. Look at them boys, them little boys. Right now. Get my handy dandy light so we can see what we're working with here. Okay. So, these little screws, but on this side, um, logically holding this together. So, 
So we're gonna have to undo them. And then, you know, I wonder. Yeah, I don't think that comes apart. So, uh. Yeah, no, that's just gonna come off in one piece. Because that seems safer. <laughs> this is a terrifying process. There's one. I wonder if these are actual screws. Of course not. They're those shitty little fairing screw things that break. So that's fantastic. <laughs> Woo! Screwing, 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 do, 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 Pull you up first, and then we'll pull this. Eep. Yes, success. Jesus, that thing is long. <laughs> Watch it. <coughs> I didn't mean what you're insinuating, I meant. You dirty heathens. Okay. Don't want me to hang it there knowing I'm gonna have to move this. Things are moving. Oh, things are moving, guys. Oh, we getting somewhere. All right, all right, all right. There's a couple more screws up here. Roll the stool with my screwdriver. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Hey. I dropped you. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, these terrible things. I'm probably going to replace these with something else because I hate these. They're just little plastic screws and they're garbage. They're garbage. Hot, steamy, stanky garbage. <clears throat> there we go. So, you know, you learn how to work on it or pay somebody a <clears throat> metric fuck ton of money to do it for you. One's certainly easier than the other. Okay. There we are. Ugh. Okay. Alright everybody, you can take a breath. Alright, nothing's broken. Everything's still in one piece. Everybody breathe. Okay. Let's all just take a second. Regroup. Alright. Are you good? Jesus, this is so scary. Look at that, that's crazy. That is some fancy shit right there, son. Alright. Look at all that. That's crazy. Alright. Oh, my back is hurting because of how freaking anxious I was just now. That was terrifying. I don't know about it for y'all, but that shit was scary to me. Okay. Um, let me keep these separate so I can keep track of where they go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Look at this. We're getting somewhere now. Let's go. We are killing it, guys. Killing the game. I'm still nervous as shit, but we are killing the game. <laughs> I am so scared. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now what happened? A oh, hole. So wobbly. So wobbly. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. I'm scared. <laughs> It just slide back. Let that be Oh, look at that, guys. Hole. Oh, I'm stunned. Okay. Guys. Guys, I did it. Guys, I did it. Oh my god, there's a lot of plugs in there. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a lot of plugs over there. Uh, um. <laughs> I have reached an impasse. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is place this back where the fuck it belongs for a second. So I can regain my bearings, because as soon as that shit came loose, I lost them. I freaked out, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I didn't think it was gonna. Your boy is panicking now. Looking at mannequins. Panic, panicking. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry for all the sniffling guys, it's gotten cold in Texas, and so my sinuses are killing me, or attempting to anyways. But I'm not gonna let them. No siree bug. Why do people have to break things? I don't understand why things can't just be done properly. Cause like, now it's this much harder for me to do some basic shit. Ow. Sorry guys. <laughs> I bunked you on the level. There we go. Look at that. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. I can work with this. Woo! Oh. Oh. Stand up straight. Oh. And a little more. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Very nervous, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, I have to screw up. That's why this whole thing is getting so difficult. Because uh, that's supposed to be mounted up properly and shit. And it is not. What is this over here? And it's all just directly tied into the wiring harness. This is fucking crazy. How do people live like this? Look, <laughs> what's the hoodie over here, I say? <laughs> so this, boom, ground layer, right? So, fairings. Wait a minute, can you hold your own fairings? No fucking way. No. What? Bruh. All right, well. My bad hoodie. I ain't even need to put you on the ground like that. Alright, shit. Look at this. You are just the most elegant thing I've ever seen. Okay. So, now we gotta find out if our 8mm is... Yep, that'll do her. Alright. Eight millimeters of drain plug bolt. Look at that thing. That's nice. Them things are shiny. Look at that oil filter. Oh, it's gonna be crispy. Let's go, folks. I'm so excited. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. This has been nice. This has been nice, to be honest. I'm not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Puppy pad, guys. Then if anything spills, it spills on the puppy pad. And puppy pads soak up everything. So, yeah. 
You can just dump a quart of oil on a pepper pad. It will eat this shit up. <laughs> okay. Can't have shit swinging. <laughs> oh, that was scary. All right. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, they put that on there. Motherfucker. I can't stand these people, bro. God damn, why'd they have to ooga dooga that shit on there? Ugh. That means we have to ooga dooga that shit off. Okay, I'm gonna find the tools and I'm gonna get back to you. Give me a sec. <laughs> Look, oh, good. <clears throat> When, when did y'all get back here? Yeah, now, we uh, we got the tool. We got a tool. We found one. Um, yeah. Nah, nah, don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> so what we did, <laughs> found this, this here doohickey, you know. <clears throat> and then, uh, <clears throat> to, uh, yeah. Put it at a right angle, you know, gave me a little more leverage. Broke it loose. Now we're good to go. You get ready? You got ready? Oh my truth. Woo! Yeah. Look at that. Look at that there. Oh. Oh no. That was our washer. Where did it go? Here it is. Boop. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. Get the oil off my hands. Yes, this is Texas. I know it's oil, but we say oil. <laughs> Unapologetically, I might add. Nice. Very nice. All right. Plug out. Oil draining. Moving on. What's the next? <laughs> <This thing. laughs> <laughs> Work with me here, go. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. Because I can barely see what I'm doing. But just know I'm doing it, okay? <clears throat> oh, yeah, she's coming. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that is, um, you see, <laughs> what I, what I meant was, <laughs> um, yeah, that was inappropriate. I'm just not gonna ever say that again. Okay, all right, we're just gonna forget that happened. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Damn. Stop swaying, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's halfway done right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to give that some time to drain. We'll come back to it. <laughs> what is up, y'all? All right. So, as you can see, it's the next day. Oh, look at Sasha. So pretty. I love her. Okay, it's the next day. Um, 
I was going through some forums and stuff, realized I was half a quart oil, of oil short. So I had to wait for a rise to open up to get another quick, quick, Jesus, quart. But uh, yeah, we got that. Now, also, I went back and looked at the footage, realized it's kind of dark. So now that it's daytime, hopefully you can see things a little better. I can go back over some shit. So. All right. All right. Let's see. Check the oil pressure again. I need you to sit tight for me, please. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? We good? We good? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of camera. Alright, so I just like did the whole second half of putting the oil in the engine new filter on washer all that good stuff and turns out my camera was frozen i'll insert a clip of that here but yeah my camera was frozen so now we're back um i don't know why it keeps doing that i'm gonna just have to periodically check the camera to make sure it's not frozen you know Now, okay. Okay. Oh, push it. Where are we at? We're low? Okay. So, I think the forum said 3.5 to 3.7. Actually, I think I need to wait three minutes to let our oil sink into the so let's try that, shall we? All right, we are back. Let's see. It's been a few minutes. Now we're gonna run the dipstick back down in there and see what we got. Feels like a All the way in, all the way up. We about halfway. Okay. So I think I'm gonna add another point one, maybe point two to this. Just because I'd rather it be a little closer to the top of the hatches, you know. <clears throat> like I said, the forms that I was looking at were saying um three point five, three point seven, so you know, we're going to try to get it somewhere in that area. And of course, after the first ride, we'll check it again. See if any of it burned off or whatever. Shouldn't, but you never know. You want to be rather safe than sorry, you know? So, since the camera froze, you didn't get to see any of this. You might, I don't know, I might post it. You can all listen to it. It's kind of funny. I'm dumb. But, uh, yeah, so... Had to use this long screwdriver. That's what y'all saw me messing with these little terrible plastic screw clip things with. And this shroud down here. Because one of them was not threading out. So I had to get in there with that screwdriver. Push it from this end to just pop it out. I'm going to replace those with something different because I hate them. Plastic screws are terrible in anything. Cars, bikes, it all sucks. Okay, then 8mm is what we use for our uh, oil drain oil pan drain bolt Jesus. and then I had to use this to kind of get me to a better angle 
because I couldn't really turn the T-handle because of my headers. And then oil wrench, oil filter wrench or pliers. The five millimeter for all the fairing bolts. We had the one down here at the belly pan, one in the middle. Then we had to take out two, I believe. Three. Three from in here. And then one came out of that, which goes on top of all this after it goes back together. Which I'm going to record and show you all that process. Um, yeah. So, I got my laptop out here. My little tune ECU plug. I'm going to get the bike back together before I do the ECU. Just because, you know, not really any reason in particular. I just don't really like looking at it in this condition. <laughs> I want to put it back together as soon as possible. So, because <clears throat> that's the scary part, if we're being honest. That right there is the hardest part, is putting the bike together and taking the bike apart without messing anything up. All right, we're going to check this oil level again. All in. Let's see what we work with now. Boom. Perfect. Right at the top of the hatch marks. Let's go. See? See? Don't be scared to work on your fancier bikes, guys. It's just a bike. Okay? <laughs> okay. See? The tab locks in down there. But there's no tab on here for this one to work on to. So it's just kind of chilling. It's not how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to have to figure out a way. <clears throat> to get it to line up properly. And go into the slots it's supposed to be in which is going to be as you guessed it a pain in the ass so I'll start there Fingers on here. Oh, give me a second. Did I do it? No way I got it that fucking easy. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this one in first. Maybe this ain't never gonna work. Yo, I might be better at this than I think. Shit. Uh, okay. So now what I wanna do is take this, because I don't wanna. Pinch these wires. I just want to make sure that they're not like, clamped down. Oh yeah, they're still moving. They're fine. Perfect, bro. This is actually a lot easier to do in the light. <laughs> I'm being quite honest with myself and with all of you. <laughs> Look at that. What, guys? What? Am I good at this? Did I do okay? Somebody give me some feedback. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like I did good here. I did everything lined up properly and shit. I really thought it was going to be harder than that. It was so much work to get it off. Y'all remember? Y'all were there. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Also, finger tight. Fairing bolts don't need to be any more than finger tight. You need to check them every now and then because they're going back out. Like, oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> Who remembers the game? Well, let me just get Richard back trying. I don't know, but like. <laughs> 50 cent would just say this random shit every day. Shit, I impress myself sometimes. Yeah, that shit is funny. Everybody hold your breath. But don't nobody pass out, okay? 
feel like you're going to pass out. Take a breath, please. <laughs> First, we're gonna figure out to get this up in there. Okay. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay. No. Oh, sorry. There we go. Just kind of fold in. It fits into these two grooves. So you have to make sure you line that piece up right here with the but that is made for in there. A little tricky, that's fine. As long as these two things are lined up, you should be just fine. I'm gonna this one now. Press it in place. It sounds so scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're in there. Good job, guys. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Are y'all's hands sweaty? My hands are so sweaty. My lips are sweating. Ooh. It's like 60 degrees outside, so this doesn't make sense. So scared. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? That's it, boys. She's done. I need to screw that bolt back in. That's it. She's done. Oh my goodness, so sweaty. So much nerves. Need oil leak? Nope. Not that it's gonna leak to the ground, it's gonna leak from the drain pan. Oh, it would leak to the ground. Nope, nothing. See? See? We good. We in there. Alright, I'm gonna go change because nerves. And then when I come back, we will do the ECU. Put in a little wrench. Peace out. Alright. <coughs> I already took my bolts out, but there's two. You have to fold up the seat to get to the bolts. We go right here, two little five millimeters. See, they're right here. <coughs> All right, and then your plug is gonna be tucked back in here because everything has to be hidden. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We're gonna take it, we're gonna Plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Okay. Here we go. ECU data. Read ECU data. <coughs> oh, there we go. Tail switch on, ignition on. Oop, look at that. This is registered. Back to my menu. Oops. I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, look, there we go. See, now we have all our options. We can see all of these things. See? Here we go. So, functions on support, support on the newer Triumph models. Service indicator. That's that little thing right there. <clears throat> it does not support the new Trident or the 2021 Speed Triple. <laughs> okay. So, and this you can set your, like, uh, your reminder to do your service. So, to do, well, this, basically, you have to do it to rewrite your, to clear the code, or clear the room. So, you set it to what you want to do. I do mine every 3,000 miles, so, we're going to take it back. Take that. Or a year, sure. All right, miles per hour, because this is America. Rewrite instruments. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna try to see if I can show both at the same time. Click. Boop. 
What? What? Yeah. Service inter instrument service interval was updated. That's it. Back to main page. Ending connection. See? So we good there. See, and then this is your how you insert your key registration and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's it guys. We Gucci. Turn that shit off. Turn the bike off. Unplug your demon tool. That's all she wrote. It's that easy. Now we turn it on. Let's see what she says. Look at that. Just our mileage. She just gives us our mileage. No wrench. That's it, guys. We officially have changed the oil on the 2020 Triumph Daytona 765 Moto 2 Edition. It's officially done. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me if I was helpful or if I was annoying. Shit. I gotta go get ready for class. I'll catch y'all the next one. Peace.